Dear students, I welcome you all to this problem solution series in digital electronics. I am solving the problems from the book Digital Design by Maurice Mano and Michael Silati. So in this video, I am solving the problem number 3.8 from chapter number 3. The problem is find the mean terms of the following Boolean expressions by first plotting the functions in a map. Maybe a 3 variable map or 4 variable map depending on the expression. So the first problem is f equal to that is function is xy plus yz plus xy bar z here we have three input variables xyz so it will be a three variable map first the term is xy okay you have to see that xy so x is this row okay and y is these two column okay so we have to put one and one here because y represents these two column and x represents this complete row so the common squares of this first second row and the third and fourth column are these two so we have to put here one and one now let us see yz y is these two column and z okay z is these two column so the common column is this one okay we have already one here so we will put here another one now let us see this third term x y bar z okay y bar z y bar z is this column okay because y is 0 here and z is 1 here y bar z is this column and x x is this row okay so this column and this row so common square is this one only so we'll put here 1 now we have to find out the sum of mean terms expression okay we have to represent in sum of mean term expression now let us see 0 1 2 3 okay so this one 3 then 4 5 okay then 6 7 6 and 7 so this is the sum of mean terms expression of the given function or this is the simplified sum of mean terms expression for the given expression in the second part of the problem we are given with this expression okay this is the function okay so we will find out the sum of mean terms expression for this express given expression okay we here we can see that we have four input variables a b c and d so we'll make a four by four map or four variable map okay so and we'll put the values accordingly here we have c bar d c bar d c bar d means this column okay so we have to put here one for this complete column okay then we have a b c bar a b is this row okay a b is this row this complete row third row then c bar c bar is this two row okay we have already one here okay so we'll put here another one then we have a b d bar a b is this row third row and d bar d bar is this first and the fourth because we have already the first column filled okay so we'll put here another one in the fourth column okay that means you need to find out the common squares and put a one here for the terms then we have a bar b bar d a bar b bar is this first row okay a bar b bar because zero zero it is a bar b bar okay a bar b bar d d means this two column okay we have already one here so we'll put here another one so this is the full variable map here and from this map we can find out the sum of mean terms expression so we can write it as sum of zero one 2 3 so 1 and 3 1 3 then we have 4 5 and 6 7 8 9 9 then 10 11 12 13 12 13 14 15 so 14 so this is the sum of mean terms expression now let us solve the third part of the problem in the third part of the problem we have we are given a four variable function okay w x y and z so we have made a four variable map here w y z y z mean here one one that means we have to see this column okay y z is this one then w w is third and the fourth row so the common squares are this and this okay then we have w bar x bar w bar is this two row okay w bar is this two row because here w are 0 and 0 okay then x bar x bar means first and the fourth row okay so we have common first row first row squares are common to both okay then we have w x z bar w x z bar w x here 1 1 w x is this one like row okay 
then z bar z bar is first and the fourth okay first and the fourth we have to put one here w x is because one and one so w x will be this row and z bar is first and the fourth okay so we have put one here from here we can write the sum of in terms of expression as sum of 0 1 2 3 all are there 0 1 2 3 then we have 4 5 6 7 they are all absent okay 7 then 8 9 10 11 okay 11 then 12 13 12 is there 14 15 14 15 so this is the sum of min terms expression now let us solve the fourth part of the problem in the fourth part of the problem we have a given function that have four input variables a b c and d so we have made a four by four variable map here so from this four variable map we can put the values of this expression okay so a bar b a bar b means this one a bar is here this one and b okay so this row complete row we have to write one okay then we have a bar cd a bar cd cd we will find out cd is one for d one one for this complete line here you have to understand that if there is a complement then you have to consider zero values here okay so if there is no complement then you have to see the one values okay then we have a bar cd cd is this row okay then we have to see a bar a bar is first two row okay this column and the first two row so common is this and this so already one is here so we'll put here another one okay then we have b bar cd cd is this column okay then b bar is first and the fourth okay first is already filled and then we will put here one then we have b c bar d bar c bar d bar is this first column okay then b b is the second and the third row okay so we'll put here one now let us write the sum of min terms expression so sum of 0 1 2 3 3 then we have 4 5 6 7 4 5 6 7 okay then we have 8 9 10 11 11 then 12 13 14 15 okay so this is the sum of min terms expression so thank you for watching if you have any question please put it in the comment section below also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you